I'm with Henrik Leerberg, Director of Offer Management at Schneider Electric. Henrik, can you tell us a little bit about the background to Schneider Electric's introduction of Structuron? Structuron is a new offer that we're introducing in the UK, Ireland in, uh, in December. We have introduced it in North America back in July, and it's actually a cloud-based digital service that uh, helps our customers to monitor their data centers and get all the information on their smartphones in a, in a, in a fast and easy and really smart way. And, and how does that differ from traditional monitoring? So traditional monitoring, at least in the DSIM space and the data center space, has been kind of on-premise. Everything has happening you know, inside the firewalls. Uh, uh, the customer had to maintain their own systems and do all the monitoring and do the analytics themselves on, on, on understanding what the sensor is actually showing. Uh, with Structure On, we are bringing the data outside of the company into the Snyder Cloud, and the Snyder people uh, sitting in the service bureaus and the network operating centers are actually looking at the data uh, and helping our customers uh, uh, be more proactive, proactive and predictive about what is going to happen in their data center. Henrik, is there any particular size of data center that Structure On specifically targets, or is it for everybody? It is basically for everybody, and um, <clears throat> initially we, we, th we have seen smaller companies being really, really early adopters of cloud-based digital services. They maybe have a uh, staff that they want to reutilize for something else rather than maintaining on-premise software. Uh, so they have an easy way of going this route to do it cloud-based and let Snyder manage everything for them. But we do also see it from bigger companies, especially uh, banks and, and finance and um, education, uh, government, that they want to have something where Snyder is involved and they are typically uh, bigger, larger corporations. Traditionally, uh, the IT community has been quite receptive to things like apps and cloud services. How do you think uh, this is going to help the data center facilities community to overcome their apparent reluctance to using this sort of technology? Yeah, we have looked a lot into that before we actually uh, introduced and launched the offer and start developing it. And we chose a strategy of going uh, mobile first, which means that this offer here is only available on smartphones, Android and iOS. And we believe that when we visit our customers that we always see uh, facility managers, data center managers walking around with smartphones uh, they're not using laptops anymore, they're not using computers of any kind, they're using their smartphones or their iPads. And uh, so we don't see a huge gap in their uh, adoption of this technology because it's kind of the tools that they use already. And do you think um, this sort of technology is going to help them to more naturally see the benefits of a, a more, a more full-blown DSIM solution? So they might migrate to that in time. Yeah, we definitely see this as a closing the gap or bridging the, the on-premise monitoring and a new cloud-based digital service because suddenly you would see lots more from your data. You can see different patterns, you can see different trends and so on that you couldn't see before. So you can see much easier what you have on your premise, what you have in your data center, what is the health of that. And you could bring it into maybe putting it into context into a larger DSIM context, which is really where you want to go if you want to mature your operation of your data center.